Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss how to create an unstructured domain with a hole in it, something we often call an interior edge. This begs the question, why would you want a hole in a perfectly good unstructured domain? Well, a good example is if that hole were in the shape of an airfoil. Let me show you what I mean in Pointwise. Here we see a couple of loops of connectors. The outer rectangular loop represents the wind tunnel test section. The interior loop represents an airfoil. Perhaps some exciting new airfoil that you've created and you're trying to analyze. So let's create a simple unstructured domain that could represent the flow path through this wind tunnel test section. Step one is to make sure we have the unstructured type selected. All right. Then we go to the create menu, go down to a simple special and choose domain. Now, the secret here is that we're going to work from the outside in. Let me show you what I mean. Let's first select the loop of connectors that make up what would be the outside of this, the far field, you might say. All right, we have our closed loop there. That's created an edge, so we're going to save the edge. Now, at this point, if I were to push OK, this would create a two-dimensional unstructured domain that would just span throughout this rectangular area. But I don't want to do that, do I? I want to make sure that I include this interior edge, which is in the shape of my airfoil. So this, is, this will be the hole in the middle of this larger unstructured domain. So we commence in a very similar way that we did to create the, the outer loop. Where let's just select the connectors and make this up. Now, uh, here's the trick. When you have a hole inside an unstructured domain, you have to make sure that the edges are going in opposite directions. Now you may not have noticed it, but these, uh, this, this loop of red lines here, they have little arrows, don't they? And in this case, they're going counterclockwise. And on the internal airfoil, it's also going counterclockwise, if you can see these yellow arrows. Now, that will result um, in basically a bad domain. It won't initialize. So we have to make sure that they're always going the opposite way. So interior holes always have to have their edge going the opposite direction. But that's pretty easy. We just go over to this button that says Flip Edge Orientation like that. And you can notice now that the airfoil um, edge is going in the clockwise direction, the opposite of the counterclockwise that we see out here. Now we've this edge is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and push Save Edge. All right. And when I push OK, hopefully it creates a two-dimensional unstructured domain with a hole in it that happens to be in the shape of an airfoil. This is just a rough example. In real life, you would probably make a much more refined domain. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.